you guys and thank you so much for tuning into my channel so today i have october's chicken love do you want to know what's in my box stay tuned all right you guys so october's mega box just arrived and i am super super excited to see what is going to be in the October box. I'm just loving this box so much. My girls are loving the stuff in there. That's for them. I'm loving the stuff in here. That is for me. And I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and dive in. Let's see what's going to be in October's box. And when you open it up, they do have a card right here that goes over what's for you and what is for the chickens. So I do appreciate the contents in there, how they do it. So here is a card right on top. Thank you for your business. Hope you love the box. Thank you so much. And then we have black and white. It looks festive for Halloween-ish time. And then, ah, <laughs> so this shirt is going to be Halloween <laughs> themed. So let's pull this out. Now for the shirts, the shirt selections are from size small all the way to 3XL and they are unisex sizing. So this one here, ooh, it looks like it is trimmed in purple, like a quarter sleeve, which is super good that it's a quarter sleeve and not a long sleeve because I barely ever, ever, ever wear a long sleeve clothes because I'm always so hot. But look at how freaking cute that is. What does it say? It says chick or her treat. It has the pumpkins, which my girls are carving their own pumpkins right about now. And then there's three chickens. That is super cute because I have three chickens. And I love that it is festive for this month. Super, super cute. So what it says, it says chick or treat on the super soft three-fourths length orange or purple. Okay, so where this is purple, I guess you could have also received it in an orange. So there was two different color variations or the fall alternative to Halloween tea. So I guess there could have been two color variations and then a different shirt. So it sounds like there's three different options for the shirt this month. I love pumpkins. I even have tattoos of pumpkins and I love like the little scary skulls and stuff like that. It's not scary, but I love skulls and crossbones and all of that. So this is perfect for me. <laughs> okay, so let's keep on rolling through here and see what we have. Um, there's this, it says Jungle Forager a, from Exotic Nutrition Pet Supplies Company, small animal play toy, encourage mental stimulation, great for birds, squirrels, and sugar gliders. Is this like the little skewer where you can put like vegetables and hang for them? Like, cause this looks like this would unscrew and come off. Let me, let me read the, let me read the sticker on the box. Let me find this. <laughs> So this should be what's inside for the flock. It says fall has arrived and it's time to prepare for winter with chickens. Hopefully you are past the molt. Time to get your chickens in perfect condition for winter. Growing new feathers is hard work for chickens. Enjoy your box of goodies. So this right here, it says a fruit and veg skewer. Just load it up and watch your birds have fun at snack time. Okay, so I was a little confused at first with like the sugar glider and the playful thing. And I'm like, because it didn't show me putting stuff on here. So I was confused. But at least I'm smart enough to kind of figure it out. So here is one of those little things, which is good because I have one and... My girls have been together since day one, like since day one, and they're almost, I think they're six months old now because they started laying at five months. They've been laying for, they're, they're laying now. Last video, I was saying they haven't laid yet, but I put in a little like whoop de woo text for you guys to tell you they had just started laying after I filmed, but before you guys saw the video and they're laying now and two, two out of the three, I still have one freeloader, which is fine. My little Carmela, she's like a little more petite. She's She was the biggest growing up and now she's the smallest. So I think that's why she's getting picked on. So she's starting to get picked on. So I'm trying to like be the median. It's getting better. It is a whole lot better. I did not know what was gonna happen for a while, but it is so much better now. 
but my whole reasoning for that is I have one of these and at least now having two, I can put two of them out there. So if my bully wants her own and the others can eat too. So I like that I now have two of them so I can spread it out and not have them trying to share or fight over one is my main thing for that. But if you guys do want like a little story time of how I found the egg and like their first month and how many eggs they had and just the whole experience like me like sitting down talking to you about it, let me know and I can make that happen. It's just I don't I don't know what kind of content you guys <laughs> want to watch or what you would like. So let me know if you would like something like that and I can definitely make that happen. So back to this box. Sorry, I'm just super, super excited. I think my whole entire subdivision knew I had an egg when I got my very first egg. I yelled so loud i screamed i was screaming and jumping for joy it was it, it I, I nothing beats that like as soon as i got home today the first thing i did was go in there and collect the eggs from today like that is my favorite thing <laughs> to do <laughs> so now we have a treat for the girls this is also from exotic nutrition it's a little package of all natural dried mealworms small animal treat it is a small bag sometimes we do get bigger bags in here so it's kind of it was throwing me off seeing a smaller bag today but you do have a small bag and there's that i have a huge bag that i got of the these mealworms when they were babies and then i heard that the black soldier fly larva whatever is so much better because of the calcium for the egg production so then i completely forgot about that big bag and i just saw it the other day and so now i've been trying to like give them a little bit so at least now they'll know what they are because they've just been recently <laughs> eating them so we'll see how they like this brand which i'm sure they will they love their treat time no matter what it is pretty much they love their treats not one piece left not even on the floor or anywhere else that i sprinkled it they definitely ate them up so that was definitely a hit they absolutely love them well, did you like your snack was that a good snack uh -uh. yeah two clucks up uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> And this just says mealworms, they surely won't last long, but a good way to try new products. The chicken will yum them up. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I'm sure they will. <laughs> so then now we have is this. Um, I do have like a small black one that I had for our birds, like our wild bird feeders. And that's what I put in the cage temporarily until I bought another one. It was kind of rusted because it's been out in the weather. So I'm so glad that this is in here because I really wanted to go and buy another one to replace that one. Or at least now I can have, again, I can have two in their run if I wanted to keep the other one in there. But this is an all green, which is cool because my coop and everything, I'm trying to incorporate that color for it. So it matches perfectly. And then it does have the little hanging chain inside so for this right here it says yep stick that cake in the feeder and hang in the coop or run so oh there we go it was under something so here we we do have this for it so that's really neat though that they gave you the treat to go inside of it and not just this that's cool so that's neat we have this treat and this treat so i'm not mad at this one being smaller now because we have we have two different ones and the cage hi ladies good morning oh yeah this basket is actually super neat it just has those little clasps that close and then you have the thing to hang it so so much better than this rusted one that i put out here the first time so i'm so excited to replace it with a nice new one and it's plastic coated not rusted like that one is so let's go ahead and switch this out and see how they like it okay so out with the old in with the new looks so much better too I'm glad they remember the concept because they only had a treat in that other one like one time when they were way smaller so I'm glad they're actually pecking it because they really do have the word true to chicken they're so afraid to try new things at first so i'm happy that they're just going at it so this right here this is what it looks like and this says from health outdoor products no melt all season high energy treat for your flock berry suit cake is what it says and that's what it looks like so we will put that in the cage and see what they do with that one that is super neat though so now we have it says automatic drip funky chicken 
Um, Red Rooster Coffee, roasted in Virginia. So I can kind of, yeah, I can smell that this is coffee. It's ground coffee. I only use a Keurig with my K-Cups. And before anybody says they sell the little things to put your own ground, I've tried several different types of them and all they do is leak and put coffee grounds all inside my coffee. So I don't use them. So this is something that I will pass down to somebody who actually uses real grounds because I don't. So I could not use this even if I wanted to. Red Rooster Coffee. Great coffee. Really nice flavor on the medium to dark grind side. Delicious coffee. <laughs> so it's great coffee and it's delicious coffee. <laughs> now we have is Chicken Fingers. Finger flinging fun. Flies up to 30 feet. Five plus for kids level. So this is like, it looks like a kid's toy. <laughs> That I guess if you want to fling them around, you can. Or if you have kids or something, you can let them play with it. But this is actually for the human, not the chicken. So it just says flick your wrist as you release for more distance. Chicken fingers. Do you really need instructions? Go be silly and enjoy. <laughs> there you go. And then we have, ooh, this is cute. So we have like a... a um. A wall hook it says rooster double wall hook and it's iron works the the only thing is I know it's supposed to be iron and I'm not gonna complain about something but I'm just telling you that part of the chicken doesn't really remind me of a chicken it looks kind of like a llama head or something <laughs> I mean I can tell it's supposed to be a chicken from a distance but when you look up close the face looks funky Okay, but it's really cute. I don't know if I'm gonna hang this like in my run to where I can hang like my aprons or something like that in or if I wanna hang this in my kitchen and I can hang towels or my oven mitts or something. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this but I think that is super, super cute. And it is kind of heavy because it's iron. There is always enough space for more chicken decor or spruce up your barn. We love the wrought iron rooster hook. And again, that is what it looks like. That is super cute though. I just love getting these like little things in here. If it's like for the kitchen or something like that, because now my whole kitchen theme has that. So I'm so excited. <laughs> now we have, it looks like they're a little pair of earrings. My ears are way too sensitive. So I will pass these down to somebody else that would wear them. It says chicken dangle earrings. These are so cute. We love the small size and the nice weight of the charms. Again, that's what they look like. But my ears, again, are way too sensitive. I'm not even going to risk trying to put them in my ears. So I'm going to save them like that and pass them down to somebody who would actually use them. Now we have this. Oh, this is adorable. This is cute. This is hanging in my kitchen for sure. It says on the back of it, this is from Hobby Lobby. And it was valued at $7.99 at full price. That is super cute. And I did not see this at Hobby Lobby when I went looking not too long ago to add more things to my kitchen. So I'm so glad because if I did see this, I probably would have bought it and then I would have had to. <laughs> so again, that is valued at $7.99 from Hobby Lobby's original price and it has eggs with the chicken. This I'm probably going to hang in my kitchen and I'm super excited. Okay, so I think I figured it out. I went through the garage and I found, I did not have a piece of wood that was wide enough for it to fit on one piece, but I did have these extra pieces from the coop build that are just sitting there. So what I'm gonna have him do is I'm gonna have him cut these, attach these together. I'm gonna go through with some touch up paint to touch up all of the paint. And then I'm going to hang this on here. And what I thought might be a good idea is I did save Luna's second egg ever and it was a double egg. So her very first double egger that she's been doing. And I thought that would be cool if I can actually like stick it on here somehow. And then we'll put it up here. My man said it would look good next to this and remove that and that I'll put up here. But then it'll say fresh eggs because then this says eggs. So I agree. So that's going to be a project for this weekend. I'm going to try to put it on here and do something that'll look halfway decent. And then for this little guy, if I were just to stick it out in the coop, you wouldn't really see it because of the color contrast because that's what color is the coop. So I found this one piece of wood that's unfinished and it has like this little, I don't know, curb appeal. So what I'm gonna have him do is hang this on here so then you can see the color. And then if you're hanging anything, this is down more. So it's not like you're gonna hit your hand or anything. So it's kind of like a perfect, 
like it's meant for it and it fits it perfectly and he doesn't even have to cut anything on this one just screw it in so that is going to be the plan for these two and hopefully it works when i'm done okay so i took this sign down that was up here and i put this one here so i put the little egg sign on top of the wood that i painted and then i put this little nest glued it on there and I put Luna's very, well her second egg ever, her very first double yoker and I glued it together and stuck it there. So that's her actual real shell from her egg. And then now it says fresh eggs. Super, super cute. I love the way that it turned out. And then I get to save her egg there forever. Okay you guys, so when I hung it on this, this was just like, that's like a pull bar and that beam ended up being inside of the run. So I had him just stick it right there in front so it stands out and I can hang anything that I would like on it. And then from the side, which is right here at their, hi Carmela, which is right here at their coop. So I could always hang the egg basket. I can hang anything that I want there, which is right here by the nesting boxes. So that's where we decided to hang it. I could always hang my apron that I got from the very first box right there, perfectly out of the way as well. Love it. Okay, we have some candy in here. That's cute because I like trick-or-treating because of October month. So I've never seen that inside of here, but we do have some Laffa Taffe and some Nerds. And then we have, oh, is this for our medical kit? Nice. I do not have any type of scissors or anything like that. So this here says first aid items, 60 cc wound irrigation syringe, syringe, it says wound irrigation syringe, fill with saline, etc., and flush dirt debris before treating the wound, um, gauze pads, variation sizes, trauma scissors, Please, please add these to your medical kit for your chickens. So apparently it sounds like there should have been a syringe included in here, which I did not get. But I do like that there are these scissors because, again, I don't have them. You do have, like, the smaller size gauze pad here. There's some of these. There's some medium size. And then there's some large size. These are all something that I do not have yet for their medical kit. So I'm super, super excited. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in their first aid kit. I get so excited when I come over. Okay, so let's get it in here. I love adding to this. So now I can slide the scissors under here. And then the gauze pads I can just shove in there. Perfect. So adding more and more to their first aid kit. All right, she did what she was supposed to do. I already collected Luna's earlier. So there's Ginger's egg for the day. So exciting. Thank you, Ginger, for paying your rent today since you did not yesterday. Thank you so much. And then there's one item left in here. It says Scrubba, the ultimate scrub cloth for kitchens, bathrooms, and more. Use warm water and soap. What is that? Is it supposed to be chickens on there? I'm trying to figure out this print. Okay, yeah, looking at it from my camera, I can see that there's supposed to be chickens on there. It's just kind of hard to see. This right here says scrub it pads. Use for just about anything. They can also be used to gently remove dried debris of your fresh eggs. Just don't scrub too hard because this is, you can tell this is like gr gritty. Like this would be a good scrub. So if you are using it for your eggs, do very, very gently because I can feel a lot. I don't even clean my eggs. So far they've been coming out perfectly clean. So I'm thankful for that. But if they ever, if I ever knew, do need to clean them, I got one of those little scrubber little brushes in one of these boxes. So that's awesome. Machine washable, air or tumble dry, bleach if needed, 97% cotton, and 3% water-based coating made in the USA. I think that's cool just to stick like in my sink and when I need to use a little scrub scrub and then it has some chickens on it to match with my theme. Super, super cute. So that is everything that came in this October box. You have the scrub scrubbing pad. You have some first aid supplies for them. You have some candy. 
You have the cutest little egg sign. You have the double rooster wall hook, which is super, super cute. You have this little toy to fling around if you want to have some fun. You have some earrings. There is the treat with the cage to put it in. There's some coffee for you. And then there's some mealworms. There's the treat skewer and then the shirt. Oh my goodness, that is a whole lot of stuff in this month's box, you guys. And I love that we get some home decor items in here for us, along with things for the chickens. I love that different, um, the, the different products that you get inside of this box. So if you would like a little bit more information about Chicken Love, I will let you know right about now. They did generate my own code that you are more than welcome to use if you would like. She Crafty will get you $5 off your very first box. A monthly subscription box for the not so crazy chicken lady. What's inside the box? Our boxes come filled with treats and supplies for your chickens, gifts and goodies for the crazy chicken lady, and fun chicken lover lifestyle t-shirts. The packages include, again, there's three different levels. The one that I get is the Mega Box. If you do month to month, it's $66 per month. Three months brings it down to 65. Six months brings it down to 64. And 12 months also brings that down to $64 per box. Includes all products of the month for you and your flock. Seven to nine items, plus the t-shirt of the month. The Mega Box is the favorite of our subscribers and your best value. Then they have the mini box. So if you want to dabble into the box, but you don't want to go to the full mega box, you can dabble in there with the mini box. The mini box is $39 month to month, 38 if you do three months, and six and 12 months will bring it down to $37. That one then will include one featured item for your flock and one featured item for you, plus that monthly shirt in that box or you can just do the shirt only. So if you wanna just have a cute shirt and you don't want any of the items, you just want the shirt only, the Happy Hen T-Shirt Club is $24 per month, $23.33 if you do three months, $23 if you do six months, and $22.50 if you go down to a 12-month plan. Are you looking to nab this super cool, super comfy tees? Choose this option. And again, it is small to 3XL for the sizes. You get free shipping for all of those. And they also have an online shop that you can go and purchase individual items at any time without having a subscription. That's where I bought amazing books that have helped me. That's where I bought my salt and pepper shakers. I've bought teas. I've bought things from their shop and they ship super, super fast and they just have amazing products on there. So if you want to check out their shop or their boxes, everything will be linked down below and She Crafty will get you $5 off your very first box if you are interested and it is free United States shipping on those three different levels for the boxes. So Oh, and see, this is my shirt. This is like my new um, merch line. And I was wearing this today, su surprising, and I got my chicken love box today. That was like, it was like meant to be. <laughs> but I had to run into Publix really quick to grab a few things. And the first thing I'm walking in, there was a really nice lady walking out and she was like, oh my gosh, I love seeing chickens on shirts. And I'm like, thanks. It was just so cute. Like the first person that looked at me recognized <laughs> my chickens on my shirt. I didn't go into it like, oh, I designed it or none of that. I was just like, thank you. And I just kept on walking, mind my business. But it was so cute that um, she liked it. <laughs> <laughs> it was really neat. So that is everything that I have for this particular video. Again, comment down below. Let me know what did you think of this month's box? What did you think of the items that they put in for the flock versus us? What do you think of the monthly tea? Definitely comment down below and let me know your positive interaction means the world and I greatly do appreciate it as I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. So until next time, you know that drill. Keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Crafty crew.